welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for deciding to click on today's video. We are going to be talking about the nine brands I want to try in 2019. These are nine brands that I've never tried before that I've always kind of had on my radar, but I've never actually made a purchase from. So if you guys want to hear who those brands are, go ahead and keep on watching. <laughs> idea from my friend Samantha here on YouTube. She actually came up with this video. I think she did it last year where it was like eight brands she wants to try in 2018 and now she went ahead and did it this year again. So I thought it was a fun video and I was kind of thinking of brands that I haven't tried yet that I've always wanted to try and it kind of just came to my head so quickly. So that's what I'm going to be sharing in today's video. So I'm just going to get started. I have a list here right in front of me of all of the brands that I want to try. So one of the first brands that I want to try in 2019 is Melt Cosmetics. This has been a brand that I have wanted to try for years. I just haven't ever actually bit the bullet and made a purchase from them. The reason being is because their products are a bit more pricier. I've always wanted to try their eyeshadow palettes. You always hear really good things about like their stacks. Also, they've had some really fun palettes that they have released lately. And I have contemplated purchasing from them so many different times, but I think the price is kind of what drove me back from purchasing. They are a bit pricier. And I'm someone who, if I'm not purchasing like directly from Sephora or Ulta and there's not like coupons and things like that I'm normally not purchasing off like a single website so I think that's kind of what holds me back from purchasing them and quite a few of these sites I'm going to be mentioning that is one of the reasons one that is sold in Sephora that I have been wanting to try for so long and I have yet to try is Lawless I know everyone is always raving about Lawless's products. I haven't really heard too many people say that they aren't in love with their products. I recently, when I got my hair extensions taken out, my hairdresser there was like, have you tried Lawless? Like I've been using their powder. I've been using their foundation. I'm absolutely in love. And I was like, no, I still haven't tried it. I know that Ashley Clady and Samantha March always talk about them. I know quite a few people that love, love, love their products and I've never tried them. I know they have their liquid lipsticks, which are what most people talk about. And then they have these new powders that have been out now for a minute that everyone's been talking about as well. And they also, I think, just released an eyeshadow palette. They are a pricier brand, which is kind of what has held me back from buying from them. I think the liquid lipsticks are like $25 for one lipstick. And then I believe the powders are about $38. So I definitely want to try something from the brand. I'm thinking maybe next time Sephora has a sale, I'll go ahead and bite the bullet with that. But let me know if you have a favorite li liquid lipstick from Lawless, like your favorite one that you think I should try. Let me know in the comment section. So this next brand that is on my list, I have been going back and forth with myself about now for a minute. So I've actually decided that I am, I think, going to start purchasing from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. So that is one of the brands that I do want to try in 2019. I have, um, I have followed Jeffree like in the beginning of his, like in the beginning of when I started watching YouTube, I followed him on Snapchat, things like that. Oof, I have a hair in my mouth. And then things started kind of happening with him that I wasn't really a fan of. And I kind of decided just to like draw back from watching his videos. So I tend not to watch his channel. Um, or really kind of anything to do with him. I kind of was like, ooh, like some things that he did that just kind of like turned me off to him. And um, recently, I think I just decided that there's so many things that go on like behind the scenes with people's brands and people's, you know, makeup and companies that support people that do wrong things. And I just kind of want it to be like about the makeup and I know that with someone owning their own company are still like kind of supporting that person but I think I'm kind of just looking past that I want to look past that in 2019 I also think that everyone deserves a second chance and there's no reason for me to hold a grudge against someone that I don't even personally know for something that I don't even know you know like there was a lot of different instances where I was like okay I don't really want to give him my money um but I also feel like 
you know, you never really know. And I've heard his products are incredible and I've always wanted to secretly try them. Not secretly, I've like made it known that I wanted to try them. I just kind of held back from supporting him. But I've heard like his highlights are great, liquid lipsticks, his new Alien eyeshadow palette actually looked really, really cool. So his products always like impress me. The packaging always looks great and I've always heard great things about him. I've just never like wanted to necessarily purchase from him. But I think 2019 is gonna be the year that I'm gonna go ahead and unless if he does something crazy, I'm gonna go ahead and purchase from his website. So again, if you guys have a favorite from him, let me know down below. Also, I'll probably be reviewing, I'm guessing, some of the things I'm trying. So maybe I can start reviewing some of his products. I know you guys asked me to do that a ton, but because I wasn't purchasing from him, that's something that I wasn't really doing on my channel, but maybe as long as everything goes okay with the orders and things, maybe that's something I can start doing for you guys. All right, and the next brand I wanna talk about is Smith Cosmetics. This is another brand that I've been wanting to try for so long, and I just can't bite the bullet on. A lot of these products, a lot of these brands that I'll be talking about are a little bit pricier, and that's kind of why I haven't just done it. Also, like I mentioned, if they're not available like at Sephora or at Ulta, I feel like I'm kind of less likely to make a purchase. But Smith Cosmetics is a, is a brush company, Smith Brushes, I believe is what it's called, and I have heard nothing but a amazing things about their brushes. I hear people rave about their brushes all the time. I know Desi and Katie talk about them a lot. Samantha Ravindahl, you like raves about their brushes and I really enjoy her. And I just feel like I wanna try their brushes because I know everyone talks about how good they are. I love brushes. I have so many different brushes. I love more affordable brushes personally, so that's kind of what I aim for purchasing. But I still enjoy, you know, like Sigma brushes, some that are like a little bit higher but maybe not as high as Smith brushes because theirs are pretty pricey. Uh, but I think 2019, maybe I will make like a slight purchase from them. Maybe try out like a blending brush, a couple face brushes. I plan on doing it. So that is one brand that I do want to make sure I try this year. The next brand on my list is Beauty Bakery. I have never tried anything from Beauty Bakery and honestly, I think their brand as a whole is so freaking cute. I absolutely adore the packaging on all of their products and I've always been kind of drawn to them and I just, I don't know, something about their packaging I think is so fun and the brand is so cute and I've always wanted to try something from them. Um, but I actually have never just like made a purchase and now that they are available in Ulta I think that I probably will purchase something in 2019 at least that's the plan I plan I don't know if I have like a set product I want to try I know I've heard really good things about their brow products um, but I just think they're so cute like I think the packaging is adorable I think it's something I'm into honestly their packaging just gets me so I think I'll definitely make a purchase from them I don't know what I should get, so maybe again, leave me your recommendations, but I definitely know I wanna try something from the brand in 2019. All right, and moving right along, the next brand is Lit Cosmetics. They are another one that has been around for quite some time, and they're one who's always kind of been on my radar, but I just haven't actually made the purchase. So they are basically known, I believe, as like a pigment site, or like they're, I know they're known a lot for their um, glitter glue as well, but I just always see people talking about their glitters. And mostly, I have this friend on Instagram, her name is Jay Blizzy, I believe, and she always uses their like pigments and their glitters in her eye tutorials. And every single time I watch one of her eye tutorials on Instagram, I'm like, I need that glitter. And I say it like all the time because she uses them literally in every tutorial. And that was definitely when I was thinking about the brands that I wanted to try. That is one that I've wanted to try. The glitters or the pigments are, I think they're around like $16 each. So they're a little bit pricey. They're not like the worst price, but they're definitely, you know, not super affordable. So uh, I think with it being like you have to order off their site, that's also something that has kind of held me back from ordering from them. But as I watch her videos, I just watched one earlier today and I'm like, I want those so bad. So I need to just go on there and pick which ones I want and order them for sure. So we just have a couple more to go here. The next one is Elsie Cosmetics and they are another one who I feel like you hear stuff about but not too much about. Like I remember when they came out with their sponge, I think it's like their little triangle sponge thing. That's the closest I ever came to making a purchase. I was like, I need this sponge. Everyone was talking about it. I remember I went on their site to order it and it was sold out. 
so I couldn't order it, but the, I was like pretty close to making an order. Also, they had some highlighters that came out that looked really, really pretty. I know that they have a foundation that I hear people talking about. There's a primer. There's quite a bit from them that I've been like, ooh. I also have heard really good things about their brushes as well. So I have always wanted to make an order from them. I think there was a few times where I went to go purchase from them and then something happened with either like the shipping was too much or they were sold out of something I wanted and it just never kind of worked out. But they're still a brand that I still want to try and hopefully 2019 will be that year for me to be able to try them. And then the next one is Batty B Lashes. Now this is a newer lash company, I believe. At least I'm just now hearing about them but I've been seeing them everywhere. So I don't know where they came from or when they came out or what, but I'm like, their lashes are everywhere. Everyone is wearing their lashes and they look so gorgeous on everyone. And I was on their site and they're not really that bad price. Like I think they're about like $16 or so for a pair, I wanna say. So it's not like the worst price for lashes. So I did go on there and I was looking into ordering a few pairs and then same thing, like I had them in my cart and then I didn't do it but I still wanna go through with the order at some point. I just don't know. I think I need like a sale or something to kind of push me to do it or maybe watch someone else's tutorial with the lashes, even knowing I've seen a million tutorials. I know that a lot of people keep talking about them and I've been really into lashes this year. You guys know I wear a lot of false lashes, but I also like to wear, or not wear, but I like to also just use mascara a lot of times. But I love having lashes for just like traumatic eye looks or when I'm just wanting like a little something extra. So that is a brand that has caught my attention. And then the very last brand that I want to try out of the nine brands I want to try in 2019 is Natasha Denona. So I own actually one palette from Natasha Denona. So this is kind of cheating because I have tried. This is the only brand that I have tried something from out of my list. But I've only tried one thing. It was one of her five pan eyeshadow palettes. And I bought it when it was on sale. I think I paid about $35 for it. And I really haven't used it that many times. I think I've maybe used it maybe four times since I've got it. Uh, I wasn't like super impressed with it. It was okay. But I think the palette that I got was like a holiday palette. The colors that are in it, it's not like a whole, like you can create a whole look with this palette. You need to kind of go in with a few other matte shades. Um, and I've also heard people say that the five pan palettes and the smaller palettes are not comparable to her full size palettes. So I have wanted the gold palette from her. As soon as I seen that one come out, I was like, this is a palette I'm gonna buy from her. And I know it is limited edition. I believe it's a holiday release. And I almost got it. But something about spending $120 on one eyeshadow palette, I just can't do it. I can't bring myself to purchase it. I literally have had it in my Sephora cart so many times. I can't even tell you guys. I tried to convince my husband to like convince me to buy it. And he was. He's really good at that, like pushing me to buy things. Like, oh, it's fine. You never buy this. You never buy that. Just buy it. And he even told me like, no, just buy it. You had a gift card, you had a coupon, go buy it. And I was just like, I can't do it. So I still haven't purchased the gold palette, but I was thinking like maybe it'll go on sale, you know, after the holidays since it is like limited edition. I think her palettes tend to do that. So I'm hoping maybe it'll go on sale and I'll purchase it or maybe she'll release something else in 2019 that I'm just like, okay, that's the palette. I need that. That's what I'm hoping for because I really wanna try out her larger palettes. I also really wanna try her highlighters because I've been hearing really good things about those. And I don't know, maybe she'll release something else in the year that has me really excited. So I, I don't know. It's like I wanna buy it so bad, that palette, and really any of her larger palettes. I know she has the ones that are like $200 too. But I think I would just need like a hefty gift card maybe. Maybe if I get like a really nice gift card, I can do it. But yeah, after that, that is going to do it for the nine brands that I want to try in 2019. Samantha did make this a tag. So if any of you guys want to do this video, feel free. Also down in the comment section, please let me know what brands you guys want to try in 2019. Or if any of the brands I mentioned you guys have favorite products from, I really want to know what some of your favorite products are. And any of these brands that you think like no you don't really need something from them or yes like you need to try that brand I would love to know don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it also do not forget to subscribe to my channel before you guys go and I'll see you in my next video Bye guys. <laughs>